This episode is brought to you by Cisco Educational Premium. Did you know that Stokes law is a mathematical equation? The equation expresses certain velocities of small spherical particles in a fluid medium. The equation was derived in 1851 by Sir George G. Stock, Stock, Stokes, and can help us understand miracles like why the raindrop does not kill us. Even though they are falling from tremendous heights. Looking at Stokes law equation, the symbol F is the viscous drag. The R you see there is the radius of the sphere falling through the fluid. N is the fluid viscosity and V is the velocity of the sphere. F is equivalent to 6 pi. Uh, that symbol that looks like N R V. How do we derive this equation? We know that Fisker's force act acting on a sphere is directly proportional to the radius of the sphere R. Coefficient of viscosity a constant obviously is this symbol that looks like an N but with one leg being short. We call this eta in Greek. It is a Greek symbol and the velocity of object falling is V. Mathematically, we can represent this as F to be proportional to eta sub sub A R sub B B R sub B phi sub 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 C Okay, okay. Let us find the values of a b and c so substituting the proportionality sign with an equality sign we get f is equivalent to k eta sub a r sub b phi sub c notice that we have introduced proportionality constant because we have removed our proportionality sign let us call this our equation one in this equation, k is the constant of proportionality. Then now, writing the dimensions of parameters on either side of the equation, we get square bracket mlt raised to negative 2, closing the square bracket, is equivalent to opening the square bracket ml raised to negative 1, t raised to negative 1, closing the square bracket, raised to a equivalent to square bracket L closing the square bracket sub B square bracket LT raised to negative 1 closing the square bracket sub C simplifying this we get square bracket MLT raised to negative 2 bracket is equivalent to M raised to A dot L raised to negative a plus b plus c dot t minus a minus c t raised to negative a negative c let us call this our equation 2 now we know that in classical mechanics mass length and time are independent entities now equating the superscript or subs of mass length and time respectively from our second equation we obtain a to be equivalent to 1. Let's call this equation 3. Negative a plus b plus c is equivalent to 1. Let's call this our equation 4. And negative a minus c is equivalent to negative 2. Or a plus c is equivalent to 2. Let's call this our equation 5. Now, substituting the, substituting the equation 3. In equation 5, we obtain 1 plus C is equivalent to T. And so, C is equivalent to 1. Let's call this our equation 6. Now, substituting the value of equation 3 and 6 in equation 4, we get negative 1 plus B plus 1 is equivalent to 1. Then, doing some simplific simplification, as it is obvious, b is equivalent to 1. Let's call this our equation 7. 
Now substituting the value of equation 3, 6 and 7 in equation 1, we obtain f is equivalent to k eta rv and to obtain those other terms in our in the Stokes equation it has been observed by and determined by experiment that the value of k for a spherical body has been determined as 6 pi and thus the equation gives the fiscus force on a spherical body falling through a fluid so we have f is equivalent to 6 pi eta rv Cisco Educational Premium is a section of Cisco Educationals with content that is not hosted here. There are episodes ranging from long to short videos. Remember those good old shots of ours? They are there. So do we get there? Use the link on screen or in the description or in the pinned comment below. Enjoy yourself. And I will see you in the next episode of Cisco Educationals.